In this video, we're going to be using PAA Sacre Bleu and the PAA L Phantasma Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again this morning. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're going to be using PAA Sacre Bleu and this is soon to be an obtainium. So if you want it, get it right now. I have some links below. It is still in stock as of the filming of this video. Uh, get it while it lasts because once it's gone, it will be gone unless uh, Douglas decides to bring it back at some point. This smells like aqua velva. I see blue. Smells like this, um, which is a nice classic scent or ice blue, not icy blue. I'm sorry. Nice classic scent. Very good scent strength to my nose. It's about seven, uh, well over medium, well priced. This comes to you from PAA, $14.95 for four ounces. And on our cost chart, that's an excellent $3.73 per ounce. If you're interested in what uh, the notes are for this, I'll put them right there for you. But just keep in mind, it smells like this Aqua Velva uh, Icy Blue, nice classic scent, which I really enjoy, which is why I picked it up. The ingredients, we'll put them right there for you. Some of them that I like are glycerin, cocoa butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, good quality soap, the PAA. We're also going to be using the El Phantasma Slant Razor. Now, this is made of uh, ABS, which is a polymer, very, very lightweight. So that's a question a lot of people will have. You could probably add some weight in there if you wanted to, but very, very light. It is not out as of yet. This was sent to me for evaluation by PAA. This is a very slanted razor that's got a lot of torque on that blade. The blade here is the feather blade. There is some overhang. Uh, if that matters to you, it does not to me. But as you can see, there is a lot of torque on that blade there. So we look forward to trying this out today. This is based on, I wrote it down, let's see. This is based on the Faison double slant of the 1930s. Now, one thing people will ask is, is this uh, a copy of the Bakelite slant that Phoenix used to offer? And the answer is no, this one is different. There's more torque in that blade and it is really, really torque. So we'll uh, look forward to using that. And there's the box that will come in, by the way. Pretty cool, and it does glow. We'll put in a little glow footage right there for you, which I took earlier. It glows powerfully and it glows a lot. And it's just a novelty feature. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by sanitizing the platform with some Aqua Velva Ice Blue that I've decanted into this uh, hot sauce bottle, which I think really helps with the scent because you take the plastic out of the equation. And we'll just kickstart our shave today with a little bit of that classic um, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. And what I'm doing is as I use it, I will put more of this into there and it works just fine. So let's go ahead and get started with a little hydration here. And then we'll go ahead and use the PAA Pre-Shave Cube. Again, not that I need it because I don't, but I have it. And it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, you know, the pre-shave argument's always debatable. I can't really prove that it's going to help, but I know it won't hurt at a minimum. It probably helped boost your lather a little bit. So if you're having some sort of issues with lathering, it certainly will assist you in that, most likely. It's not gonna hurt, I don't think. And me, uh, the only thing I avoid in terms of pre-shave is oils. I don't like oils on my face. Uh, it's just personal preference thing. Uh, but what I like to do is sort of work that in, rinse the hands off, and then we'll come on over here to our, uh, this is the PAA uh, Amber Arrow Light Brush, which was also sent for evaluation and we'll paint our lather on today. This has a 24 millimeter Stygian knot, he calls it. Um, I have enjoyed it so far. I've used it a number of times, and as you can see, no problem with this lather. Again, even though this is definitely gonna make a nice looking lather, a nice looking lather is not required. You can go and watch my uh, Mitchell's Wolf Fat video from yesterday, if you haven't seen that and where I talk about that. But, you know, let's face it, it is enjoyable to have a nice, lather in the PAA products, which are vegan, will certainly provide a very nice lather if you're after that. And I have really enjoyed using that brush. Very soft in the tips, does exactly what I need it to do. I think the price on that comes to you for around 
1995 or something like that. Okay, so let's see how we do with the El Fantasma razor. Very light, and honestly, I prefer more weight in my razors, but definitely wanna put this through its paces and see actually how the shave is. That's the most important thing. Weight is just a matter of preference. Um, to me, the weight of the razor doesn't dramatically affect the shave. Um, what dramatically affects the shave for me mostly is blade and me. The weight of the razor is just a preference thing. I prefer, so, so let me give you a, um, an example here. I pref prefer stainless steel. So if this was available, say in, in this polymer, ABS rather, stainless or aluminum, I would always choose aluminum, but that's just a preference thing. That's not, it doesn't really, to me, make any difference when it comes to the shape because this is just a holder for the blade, more or less, and it does torque it. And the slant concept, if you're not familiar, is use the same concept as a guillotine. It's got that, you know, uh, diagonal sort of cut to it or slightly, you can see it there. And so the idea there is it cuts a little more effectively than a blade that's completely horizontal. Um, and again, I think they work fine. Whether there's a true edge in that uh, type of cutting, you know, is up for debate. Many people feel it does, and, and I enjoy using slants myself as well. So far, this is cutting well. Um, there is some blade feel. It's not a ton, but there is some blade feel. So not bad at all. I want to mention uh, a couple of folks while we're trying out our razor here today. Um, one, I want to bring your attention to a video Ken Klitschko did yesterday. Shave 326, where he talked about, um, he was talking about fragrance burns. And so go check out that video if you have not and and weigh in. Uh, he made some interesting comments there. And I, I enjoy those sort of videos where people raise interesting topics. Uh, I am not one who suffers from fragrance irritation or burns a lot. I've had it happen maybe... Uh, maybe 15 times over the years out of all the soaps I've used. And that is pretty low percentage um, when it comes to all the soaps that I've used. I, it does happen from time to time, but I've never had a serious reaction of any kind. Some people's skin are more sensitive to others or more sensitive than others. So please keep that in mind. But I have not had a lot of trouble with it. Um, I do get the occasional soap that tingles and burns a little bit. And my recommendation is if you suspect that you might, you're getting a soap that you might be sensitive to something in it. Don't, do not face lather it. You are not helping yourself by working in and face lathering a soap that you think you might have a sensitivity to. Paint it on like this. And at the slightest hint of burning, remove it from your face. Um, with shaving, it's the philosophy is sort of opposite exercising. You know, in exercising, we say no pain, no gain. With shaving, if you have pain, there's nothing to gain. So you stop whatever, when you experience discomfort, you stop whatever you're doing and remedy the situation. So and when it comes to irritation from uh, fragrance, the best thing you can do is remove it from your skin. Now I realize a lot of us sometimes power through it. And me, I can tell when it's just gonna be a little tingly. But my advice is if you have sensitive skin or you tend to suffer, or if you suspect, that you might get a fragrance reaction, bowl lather it and paint it like I'm doing here. And that way the skin, the soap is gonna be on your face or a potential irritant, but you're not working it in and working it in and working it in and scrubbing. And that's gonna cause far more problems most likely than just painting and seeing if you're getting, getting any adverse effects. Some people also recommend uh, opening up the soap and letting it air out for a number of days which seems to have worked for some folks. I'm not sure what that does, but it has been recommended. So how is the razor doing? It's actually doing pretty well. Very light, again, not my preference in a razor, but it still cuts well. The blade is cutting well. And what you have to do is just, you know, adjust. Uh, again, the weight issue for me, it, it's just 100% personal preference. I don't think that a heavier weight really affects the shave because in the end again we have the razor here and we have the blade and we're dragging it across our face 
and the weight, to me, I just like the feel of it and the experience. It doesn't really make much difference in terms of the actual shave to me at all. But again, that's just my feeling. It is, I think it's doing a quite a good job though. It is uh, lightweight. You do get some blade feel, which I like. It is not completely devoid of blade feel, which is one of those things that if I get a razor that has almost no bl blade feel like the say Feather ASD2, I don't really care for that. Could still shave with it, but you know, I prefer to feel the blade a little bit. And uh, you do get some. It's not going to be tremendous, though. So don't. I, I don't think this is going to be a, uh, a razor that folks are going to have to be afraid of. I think it's doing actually a pretty good job here, which is great. That's what you know. That that's the goal is to have a really nice shave. And despite its uh, lightweight, I can certainly feel it cutting. And with that slam action, you know, in theory, you're getting better cutting action. I can't really validate that personally, uh, but it is cutting that much I can tell you. Um, I wanted to mention something because I've seen some people uh, speaking to the Rona like on their, in their videos. And some people have said, you know, they don't know any, anyone personally who's been affected. And, and just yesterday, my wife was talking to my mom and she told her that my aunt and uncle both have the Rona. Now they're in you know, fairly good health. They've always kept themselves in, in good shape, but they have the Rona. So if you think you didn't know anyone who at least had a family member affected, I do. And we know Manny from SoCal Shave, his, his dad passed away from the Rona. So the Rona is a real thing. It's not, it's not a made up thing. It's something that we should be still taking quite, quite seriously. And so I hope you will. And if you didn't know anyone who's been affected, you know, now it has visited my family as well. And I'm certainly hopeful that my aunt and uncle will, you know, um, work through it. And uh, we hope, you know, obviously we'll have, keep them in our thoughts and prayers. But it's a real thing, folks. And, and they are not irresponsible people who go around without masks and get into large crowds. So to, please just keep that in mind. It's It's real. And it does affect people. And we have people in our own community. Mark from Friendship Shaving had it. Um, Manny's dad has it. Had it, passed, sadly. So it, it really affects people. Um, my brother-in-law lost his job due to it. it. It's affected a lot of people. It's a real thing. Take it seriously, please. I mean, show some respect. Take it seriously. All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm really enjoying this classic Aqua Velva scent uh, during this shave. It just, I don't know. If you want it, get it because it will not be around. Again, I have links below. Grab it while you can still get it because you never know. Douglas sometimes bring these brings these things back, but um, when these products don't get love, you know, he, he, uh, he puts them into retirement and sometimes maybe they'll be brought back and sometimes never. So my advice, get it now if you want it. The razor's doing well. No complaints whatsoever. Shaving well. It, the, the glow thing is just a novelty, as we've mentioned before, but I do kind of dig it. It's just something different, you know, bringing something different to the table, and I think it's pretty cool. I um, also want to mention our couple of channels today. First channel, we'll mention a, a new person, Mac shaves now one thing i want to mention about mac and i have been enjoying his videos is mac does not use a shirt for your protection as i do so you're going to see a lot of collarbone a lot of uh a lot of shoulders and collarbone on mac shaves video so it is not for the faint of heart <laughs> in that regard but i have been enjoying his videos and we're still um, picking up some hair on this last pass. I can hear the razor still doing its work with the feather blade here. I think this might be the, I can't remember if this is my second use on this blade or third, but we're, we're still getting some work done with it. Anyway, check out Mac Shaves, new person in the community, or at least new to me. I don't know how long he's been doing it. A few months, I want to say on YouTube, maybe longer, um, new to me. And as I mentioned before, 
we're gonna pair an old schooler with these new schoolers because you know I'm gonna give you a guy that's been around and is likely to stay around. Mike Baker, been around many years. He has a lot of great content on his channel, honing videos, knife sharpening videos, a little bit of everything, technique videos. He just did a video the other day where he sustained a um, quite a bad cut and then he came back and he did a sort of training or lessons learned type video on how he sustained that cut. So um, please make sure you're checking out these guys who have been doing it for a while. They have wisdom, you know, and there's a difference in my view between knowledge and wisdom. I think we have a lot of knowledge. You know, knowledge I think is at an all time high, but wisdom is not. And, and that's a different thing in my view. And, and Mike, you're certainly gonna get some wisdom off his channel, not just knowledge. And so go check him out and I hope you will enjoy both channels if you give them a shot. Wow, this soap, just super classy. Again, if you like Aqua Velva, it's a no brainer in my opinion. Very, very nice. And you may have to use a little bit of pressure um, with this razor to make sure you know, you're getting it to cut. I know a lot of people say absolutely no pressure, absolutely no pressure. Sometimes you do have to use a little bit of pressure, slight. Generally, we say new, no pressure for the benefit of new people. That's why we say that, because we don't want them bearing down like you might be uh, tempted to do with a cart razor. And these razors are not cart razors. And so if you use a tremendous amount of pressure, you're likely to cut yourself. And so a lot of people say absolutely no pressure. Um, but in, in fact, sometimes you do have to use a little bit of pressure. So just keep that in mind. It just, you'll develop a feel for it over time. And we're just trying to clean up here a little bit and make sure we got everything squared away there. The soap did a great job today, and I think the razor did well too. Again, I would call this still, uh, to me, feels like a mild shaver, but I think we've done well with it, or at least I hope we have. So with that, let me get a rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, just in a spray bottle. And I want to remind you, I will have links to these products below. If you want an Aqua Velva scented shaving soap, now is the time. Get this while you still can because it is going away. That was a very, very nice shave. The PAA L Phantasma razor. Again, the box is right here. Coming soon. I don't know exactly when, but we had a good um, shave with it today. Mild shaver, in my opinion, very lightweight. So take that into consideration. Off cam, we used the PAA Allen block with dry dock, still hold, holding up very well. No holes in it or crustiness, which is great. The PAA Amber Aerolite uh, brush, which I've used several times, and I've really enjoyed that brush. That That is definitely a keeper for me. And we'll finish it off today with our Aqua Velva Ice Blue, which is scented like the soap. And again, decant it into a hot sauce bottle to take it out of that plastic. Oh yeah. And now, got a nice classic Aqua Velva scent going. There is the plastic bottle, if you just wanna see what it looks like. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having wonderful shaves. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.